Hey, today I have another one of these Divalosi Fashion Girl dolls, and I got her for her top. So let's see how she is on quality. So they're just real simple boxes, and uh, so I have her out. Um, her shoe is a little deformed here on her foot. The other one looks really nice. Um, they're like a little bit harder plastic, um, but they are just, uh, pumps, and I'm not, like, a big fan of pumps, because you usually have to rubber band them on. Um, the pants feel really good, like a very nice material. Um, the button here seems a little large, um, belt loops are alright, there's a little bit of a loose thread there, but I can trim that, no problem. They love to show, like, even in the box, her thumb is tucked in her pocket to show that they have pockets. This feels kind of like a rayon acetate. I don't know. I'm not great with figuring out what fabrics are, but it feels like a nice fabric. Um, she has a nice face, and I've always thought they have, like, nice faces. She has green eyes. She can look up and down just a little bit. Um, and then, like, side to side. And then they do have... Um, articulation at the shoulder, elbow, wrist, and their arms are a little rubbery, and then at the hip, knee. So, they have just some basic, but more than like far Barbie fashionistas. Now for her hair, it's like a white, um, but there is a bit more rooting it looks like than the last one, if you checked out hers. Um, still not great. There, there is a little bit of sparseness, but it's really not that bad, um, considering, um, but the hair quality, I don't like the way it feels. It feels very plasticky, um, not nice, um, but the, um, the color is a nice difference, um, and then the wave too, it's really cool. Um, so both pieces Velcro in the back, and they have this, uh, Velcro that, um, keeps the bulk down. So that's always really nice, but, um, I'm going to take off her pieces and we can see what they look like then, so. Warning, doll nudity. It's just a doll, okay? So, um, I did want to give you guys, like, the view of, like, the doll so you can tell, like, what it looks like underneath of the clothing. But it's just pretty much, you know, basic. There's a little wobble at the hips, but, I mean, it's not bad. And, like I said, like, the hair on this one is better rooted. It, it's still a little bald in a couple spots, like, back here. Um, but really not bad. Um, and you get more articulation for the, the price point. Now, I did find her on Timu. Um, and the faces are nice. No pixelation. Very nice screening. So, I mean, but she is going to be available, um on my whatnot, so go check that out. Now as for her clothing pieces, um, they are pretty well made. Stitching looks really good. Finishing, um, pockets are just like one layer, so like you can lose stuff if you drop stuff in the pockets. But it is cool, you, you have pockets. Um, some of the Velcro was sh shedding, maybe? Um, but not bad overall, so um, I'll have to try this on one of my dolls then, and I'll have to find a standard size doll, because we're petite, but... Now this here is lined, we do have a couple of like threads that I'm going to trim, so... But they're, they're not unraveling or anything, we've got lining, there is a little bit of like... Like... Um, pulled material here, but it's not too bad, really. And it's on the inside, it's lining. But not bad at all, so... I do recommend, if you're interested in any of the fashions, to find these dolls online somewhere cheap. Um, now, I did just notice something with these sleeves. So, um, here you'll notice that this sleeve is a bit wider than this sleeve. So there is some inconsistencies, like this isn't, this is gathered a little bit more than this here, so 
it does happen, but it's not bad. Um, I've definitely, um, seen worse, so that's why I do recommend if you're interested in any of the fashions and you find one, um, to definitely give it a chance and see how you feel about it in person. Um, I definitely recommend getting the jumpsuit and this one, um, just because I've now been able to see both. Um, I probably will trim that Velcro right there just because it's sticking up a little higher than I like. Um, but I do like the material. It feels nice. Um, it's nothing pleather that's going to like disintegrate. Um, I, I do like materials that potentially can last longer. And this is really fancy little, little box. So let me grab one of my Barbies and we'll do some trying on. Alright, so I grabbed her, just going to put this outfit on her so you guys can see. She is one of the new look dolls, so definitely go check her video. Alright, so here you go. Um, outfit fits perfectly on her. She's a standard size body, looks great on her, and so great for Barbie. Um, <laughs> she actually looks really good in this. Um, but yeah, so I, I really like these. Uh, I've been kind of looking at all the different ones that are out there. Uh, there's a few um, I've searched on Timu. I know um, other people have found them elsewhere. Um, it all depends on your location. So uh, just throw a search out there, Defalusi and see what you find and um, depending on what what your style is you might find some that you like different than these um, as long as it's a price you think reasonable um, I just try to keep my price low enough because I know I'm not gonna keep the doll I mean I have yet to um, in the two that I found but I do like their fashion pieces the clothing and so I have definitely felt it worth spending 10, 11, 12 dollars, you know, for, that's what I've seen the, these two for, but, um, but I do think that it is definitely worth, um, the cost, and so I do recommend getting them, if you can find them for around there, or even less, you know, um, she looks so cute in this, and definitely, um, if you want to see my Lux dolls that I recently got, check out my video um, for the looks. I do have two of them because I did open um, one of them separately, but then you can find the rest in the second video. So definitely go check those out, link above, and uh, let me know what you think of the Diva Lucy's, and if you found one, um, there's a really cool, like, rainbow-y iridescent skirt on one, and I've kind of had my eye on, but, um, She's like, I've only found her for about $30, so I, I'm not real sure if that's a good price, and I'm not, like, wanting to spend 30 for one of these dolls yet, you know? But, yeah. Alright. Like and subscribe. Thank you for your time. Have a great day. Bye!